Welcome back folks, I'm Sir Click and you're watching a brief guide to the Galaxy on EVE Online Let's Play tutorial. Last time we did a bit of extra details on the uh, low security exploration uh, career we have taken up. Uh, we also had very little to zero <laughs> success in exploring. It's been a bit slow I must say and in this episode, already as announced last time, uh, we are going to go ahead and do something a little different, still using the exploration tools, but not, not an actual low security exploration. We're going to go for ninja salvaging, and we're going to go for a bit of zero security uh, salvaging exercise. Let's see how that goes. Just a word of warning guys, if you have not watched episode 1, 2 or 3, I strongly encourage you to do that. If you're a new player, I think the most benefit uh, um, for you is to watch the entire series because the episodes are somehow linked and they built upon each other. If you're not a new player and you just want to have fun watching, then sit back, relax and enjoy. Okie dokie, let's bring our UI back and um, do first things first. Before we go to high security and taste the sweetness of ninja salvaging um, I want to move my loot from low security where we are to high security and sell it and make a lot of money as we discussed last time we made 29 million so far so the way this works is you have your ship and you have your item hanger and you drag everything you want to move into the ship hanger however there's something very important that we need to do before we go ahead and actually move the loot. It is 30 million and our ship is not very big and strong. So any gate camp uh, can basically mean end of our hard earned loot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically... I have set my destination to the Amar system which is the place where we want to sell the loot. And we have two low sec jumps in between before we go to high security as you can see here from the root planner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically uh, have a quick peek and check if there is any specific um, threat that I should be aware of. Notice I don't have anything in my cargo other than the standard stuff I have on the ship. Uh, the salvagers you see here are for our next exercise. So it's important it, you, you don't have to always do this uh, I, it's my it's my routine I always have a quick look around when I move my loot just to make sure that I'm not nastily surprised so if I certainly need notice a big gate camp or a big battle happening in any of the systems I'll, I'll take it easy I'll probably just wait for things to quiet down before I move my loot so far I have not noticed this uh, area to be super active so I'm expecting relatively uneventful transportation session but you never know you never know this is EVE Online live environment people interacting with other people you gotta be prepared you gotta you gotta pay attention let's jump and that, that's all I'm doing basically I'm going from system to system and I'm checking the stuff all right this is our last uh, system, nothing on the gate. I don't expect anything uh, to be surprising um, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, which is perfectly enough. So I'm going to cut through this, guys, and see you on the flip side once we reach our destination, Amar. See you in a bit. And we are back in the Amar system just in front of the trading station guys i have sold my loot we are currently sitting at about 53 million i still have a couple of small items to sell just uh didn't sell them now because there's there wasn't very good price um at the moment but those couple of items are no more than a million or so doing good doing good um, as I said exploration has been a little bit slow so we're gonna go ahead and try something different not only because of the money but also because bit of a bit of a um, change in, in speed change in uh, activity and uh, maybe hopefully 
uh, helping you find different things to do in space whenever one of the items you're normally doing gets a bit slow or boring and what we're talking about is something I already mentioned it's called ninja salvaging and it's ooh, look at that big boy uh, probably full of goodies going somewhere to feed the intergalactic markets it's a freighter ship huge ships look at that isn't that a beauty we're in front of the station guys and it's uh, rather active it's not one of the most active uh, times but you can see lots of players everybody's going somewhere doing something look at the battleship here it's it's a live environment it's a live environment it's a universe that lives and breathes and sometimes interacting with people uh, may bring a little more than expected and that's what ninja salvaging is all about guys I'm not an expert ninja salvager and ninja salvaging itself does have a little bit of a questionable reputation let's say because it involves me finding out other people's loot and uh, kind of in a way stealing it not many people are, are, are extremely happy as a matter of fact many people are actually pissed off so if you choose to do that uh, be warned people will be pissed off uh, there are two things you do in ninja salvaging one is salvaging which doesn't incur any uh, let's say aggro so you you aggro free look at the big big boy warping away uh, and the second thing you can do is it's ninja looting which does give uh, you aggro so be careful about that don't just ooh, what the heck was that that was a pretty fast warp can I have a look at this guy no, I cannot have a... I don't know. I don't know why I cannot have a look at this. Maybe he's too close or he's already warping away. Never mind. So, for for the purposes of our exercise, I have, you can see here in space, the little lines. This is showing the, the uh, route to where we want to go. And um, basically, uh, this is a system where we have a lot of level 4 missions, or I hope we have a lot of level 4 missions. And we need level 4 missions because people who run level 4 missions leave a lot of garbage behind them and hopefully we'll be able to get some of that garbage and put it in our cargo hold and get rich i already had a session off camera guys a couple days ago and i managed to pull about 25 million not too shabby not too shabby but i must admit i did loot as well <laughs> the only reason i looted though is because the guy wasn't around so nobody really shot me so i was okay i was lucky you, you don't always pull that but Let's have a look. Let me bring my UI back. It's busy here. It is busy. I'm going to cut through the trip, guys, and meet you at destination. Warp drive active. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okie dokie, guys. We are here in the Madir Milire. <laughs> system let me explain how we came here we clicked on people and places we clicked on the agent tab we clicked on agent finder we selected level 4 missions we selected security missions and we selected high security um, security status of the system what this does is it just gives you a list of systems where you have you have uh, level 4 missions. Now it's a bit of a hit and miss and trial and error to find out which system has actual mission runners in it. And the way you find out is uh, you're looking for battleships. Now I may not have an actual hit but you know my suggestion is use your directional scanner to identify your battleships and then drop probes on where you suspect the battleship is and start scanning it down. So I have now drop my probes here towards towards on the uh, planet which is here at the periphery of the system and I'm hoping for the best so I'm gonna click again probably not gonna get any hit because these guys are moving around one of the things with ninja salvaging guys is that you're scanning for actual ships of actual players and players don't stay in one place so uh, that's an extra challenge but I guess when you combine oh, all right so then now now we have nobody here see just in the little space of time I was explaining something things changed but that's not important because if something has changed so dramatically that means that people who were there were not doing a mission anyways because the mission takes some time so if you see a guy sticking around the spot for more than like a couple minutes he's doing a mission he or she 
All right, battle cruiser, 100%. Don't know what's going on here. There's no station, but there are gates, so he could be at the gates, and I could be just warping to the gates. Looks really suspiciously close to the gates. I'm gonna assume it's a gate. Not gonna like bother about this. But there is this one, which could be a ship in warp. But let me try. Let me try. Let me just bring in my probes and maybe scan range down to two. Well, no, I wanted all of you guys. Come on, all of you to two. Thank you. Let me bring you in a little more. Yes and scan it is tricky in the meantime while i'm scanning guys i'm here on the other side of the system where i can direct scan while i'm scanning my, my probes um i can directional no direct scan but direction scan <laughs> descan uh whatever is happening here and just if i notice something is happening here i'm gonna go over there but for now only thing potentially is the sacrilege which is a good enough and big and strong enough ship to to do level four missions okay so that's not helping very much it looks like okay 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 looks like everybody's somehow focused around the planet so possible explanation very possible explanation is that everybody everybody is doing uh, the gate jump dance or something come on guys do some missions for me. I have to show my dear YouTube friends how to do ninja salvaging. Hmm. Interesting. Alright guys, welcome back. I took another couple of hours to figure this thing out. Um, apparently uh, scanning for... Uh, scanning for, for, for actual... Um, ships is not as similar as scanning for exploration sites well uh, let me correct this um, it's essentially the same you still use your scanner probes um, in this case however you're using the combat scanner probes as you've seen however you need to be careful about a couple of things and we'll talk about those uh, very soon. I just wanted to show you what I've discovered. So this is what I've discovered. Nobody's here in the side. I managed to, after two hours to scan this down and let me arrange by, I don't know, I mean, I guess I, I don't care. So large to medium and scanning can commence. Approach, lock target, lock target. Okay, once we close in after five kilometers or closer to five kilometers, I can activate the salvagers. What I do is I activate three and deactivate two immediately because they take a lot of energy. I have successfully salvaged something already. <laughs> Uh, 177,000 isk. Let's approach this guy and see how much he will give us. Now this thing can take a little bit of time and I'm not gonna make you sit through the entire process. I just want to really demonstrate that it's possible and I, th I think that you know having never had any practice with it clearly I took a little longer but I think that now that I know my estimate is that you guys you know as new players with a bit of practice after the first like two hours of torture you'll you'll be able to do this in 15 minutes 15 minutes scan your ship find your ship now the trick is uh, to find more than one because usually people are doing their missions right and then um, they take some time so it's not an immediate thing and you don't want to enter the mission while the guy is still shooting NPCs because NPCs will turn on you and um, uh, yeah will make your life difficult so I, you see my money here is increasing with every new salvage I don't know that was a uh, I was empty so uh, I'm not ready to loot yet guys because well whoa, 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 whoa. let's approach this guy let's stop I don't know why I decided this is the closest this is the closest always try to go for the closest one let's open nothing just metal scraps and salvage be careful with the loot one more time uh, you don't want to make uh, 
anybody angry because once you loot their loot they can shoot you in the face even though it's high security space and uh, policemen are watching so word of advice my salvaging attempt failed <laughs> wow all right let me then just uh, take a few minutes to salvage some of this stuff and um, i'll be right back with you once uh, this is done okay my dear friends we are back and i have completed the salvage i think the whole exercise took about 15 minutes so 15 minutes for scanning when you get lucky and after you get some practice and then about 15 minutes for 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 salvaging um, about 10 15 to 20 wrecks and this is what you get out of it um, now i'm not gonna go through the individual amounts but you get about 4.4 million for half an hour and we haven't even started looting the stuff now looting the stuff is dangerous because people will aggro you or uh, potentially come after you and kill you uh, so how to do this in a safe way is to basically look around you and look at these little containers. These are the containers that were left after you um, uh, salvaged the, those full wrecks. The ones that were empty just disappeared. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go uh, container to container using my micro warp drive between the bigger distances. And I'm going to try to make a loo. And we have... We have... Um, <laughs> Okay, no, that's good enough. I don't care about the loot so much. It would have been netted, would have netted us another like maybe five million. But I can see here, um, Mr. Olo Nolo or something like this, who is eventually the owner of this uh, mission site, came back in his Noctis, and you can see what the Noctis is actually doing right now. You can you can notice the the many many little tentacles that he just uh, popped out, and he started pulling all the cans towards him. That's because the Noctis is a dedicated, amazingly efficient uh, salvaging and looting ship. Uh, and now once Mr. Olonolo came in, um, my chances of actually looting anything of any value are very low. Plus, I don't want to get in trouble. He may have somebody warping to me, killing me and so on and so forth. So, as in terms of uh, demonstrating, as just warp to, to a station, I guess any station will do. In terms of demonstrating, guys, um, maybe I should. Why, why do I have my micro warp drive? That's so amazingly nonsensical. Anyways, in terms of um, demonstrating ninja salvaging, I think that was that was the core of it. That was the crux of it. A couple things I want to say while I'm warping to the station. Uh, in terms of scanning ships, scan the middle of the system. Put your probes in, into the standard diamond formation. Use five probes, um, four on the sides and one in the middle. Allow sufficient space between your between your probes. Mr. Docking Person, I'm talking. And be careful when you scan for ships is you know we need to be careful always pick up the stronger uh, the stronger signal remember the first three letters of um, of the signature and just follow each signature through until you find your battleship battleships are the ones you should be looking for again with a little bit of practice uh, it should be all good just make sure you don't warp into your scanning ship while the, the person is still shooting those wrecks because that may get you in trouble plus uh, make sure you uh, you don't loot anything if you have suspicion that person is still in the system or has some friends maybe his corporation is around as well because they will shoot you in the face and you're gonna have bad time either way my dear friends I have completed my mission here so to say and I'm ready to go to Nullsec and hopefully we're luckier than this and show you a little bit of um, combat salvaging oh Okay, guys, I'm back and I have sold my loot. Also, I have moved all the way to our staging system where we will try to do something called null sex salvaging. Salvaging of other people's wrecks instead of NPC wrecks. This requires a bit of luck and patience. I'm not going to record all of it, but you will see the key points now. Before we start, I said something like that in episode 2, but I never really then followed up on it. This is the medical shortcut. You can see here, if I click, you can see your medical screen. 
and in here you're able to relocate your clone wherever your clone is located is where you will be respawned upon dying now just uh, let me open my character sheet and you can see here my skill points are below the clone grade alpha which is currently my clone it means that if I die uh, nothing bad will happen I'll just respawn here grab another noob ship grab, a, grab another um, salvager and proceed with my exercise but it's important to set your clone in your staging system because if you don't you may find yourself many many jumps away from where you died and that's usually discouraging I'll cut through the um, next couple of jumps and I'll see you in zero security space alright I managed to initiate warp on the other side we are officially in zero security space guys one more time second time in this series let me do a scan there's this um, hawk dude or dude in a hawk um, sitting at the gate but he didn't really do anything to me there's some analyzing people here using scanner probes probably searching for treasure not anything that really interests us we are mainly interested in Rex guys and not any Rex but player Rex I don't see any player Rex here so I'm gonna just move along to the next system and I will rinse and repeat until we find something let me just set my destination you can see we're here and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go deep and see how far we survive that's eight jumps in the zero security space okay close window we have all the red lines now in, in the space and I'll see you guys once we find something we have encountered an interesting situation I don't know what that will bring to us if anything good or bad I am about 10 or 15 jumps into zero security space and I'm warping to an actual station because I noticed there is a wreck there the wreck however no, appears to be very oh Safe location, submit, yes, planets. Oh. Okay, uh, I was just spotted by Urho Kakeboken. And he's probably going to report me for warping to their station. This is not good. But I bookmarked the location of this wreck. And what I'm going to try and attempt and do, if my heart does not explode, I'm going to warp to that wreck and try to salvage it. Risk a business, I know many people will probably try to kill me in the process and most, most, most possibly try to, well not try, actually they will succeed in doing that. But I'm excited, finally we found some action. Uh, I also noticed Loco just before I started recording bumped up like 60 people, almost 60 people. Let's warp to the wreck and hope for the best. That's it guys, that's the proof concept. We either die or we we'll we'll win some money. We win some good money, hopefully. All that hassle. Probably. I'll probably just die in a fireball and respawn in my humble uh, in my humble station in high security space. Most probably that's exactly what's gonna happen. And um okay damnation i don't like damnations damnations are not good they generally can kill me very badly here's the damnation the nation seems to be far away i'm gonna i'm gonna try to salvage this and i'm gonna watch the damnation oh man okay planets I'm not going to be able to salvage a donation. <laughs> Looks like I don't have enough levels to salvage that thing. It's not a donation, it's whatever it is. A light cruiser. Why? Oh, why? I should have done my research, man. I should have done my research. Okay. What's going to happen now? <laughs> At least some action. What's going to happen now? Because obviously if I don't, if I'm not able to salvage the crazy allied wrecks or elite wrecks 
Uh, I, I, there's no more point for me to warp around here. I need to go back and research what helps me... What helps me salvage them. And uh, next time I come back, I'll actually manage to salvage one. Let me just warp to zero. What we're going to do now is um, take the so-called Pod Express back home. Which means that the friendly people in front of that station will shoot me. Destroy my sheep. My sheep. <laughs> Yeah, it's a um, space sheep, or more properly put, my ship. And then they will destroy my pod, and I will reappear magically. Just checking, I don't have enough skill points to be worried, so I'm okay. I will reappear magically in front of my, or in my station. Okay, here we go. This is where we are. So I'm in front of that station. Trying to dock. And I was able to dock. This is very interesting because I thought that when I'm in sovereignty space I cannot dock. Amazing. Some people here in the station. Prob probably owning that station anyways. So, but it's sitting here doesn't help me. So let me just undock. And meet my fate. I'm not gonna jump the 15 or more jumps back to high sec, guys. This is another small tip uh, for you. If you get uh, way too far away and you just kind of really don't want to warp all the way back, just sit in front of the station. Is this is this a strip bar? <laughs> Look at this. Those dudes have a strip bar. Respect, man. Respect. See, here, here we go. Let's have a look. Reset camera. No, I don't want to miss my death. Reset camera. Here we go. Battleships. Battleships should be good enough for me to die quickly and painlessly. Goodbye, cruel world. Hello, guys. You don't want to shoot me? Why? They're ignoring me. Why are these guys ignoring me? They are really ignoring me. Where are you guys going? Will I benefit from going there as well? Maybe there will be like more appropriate people. People that are actually willing to kill me. <laughs> okay, let's uh, find out. Oracle. Maybe I should have stayed for the Oracle to kill me. Oracle is like... I would have been an easy, easy pick for the Oracle. Never mind. Now that we have finally decided that we're just gonna simply die, things are much more fun. <laughs> In a way. In a way. I just want to see what's gonna happen. These guys are totally ignoring me. Um, so I don't know. Oh, we have we have the right people here. Right people, look at this. There were probably some bubbles here on the on the gate, no bubbles. Why is there nobody at the gate? Where is everybody? Am I gonna jump now, un unwittingly? No, I'm not jumping. Okay, I didn't press the jump button. This is good, I didn't want to press the jump button. So where are you guys? Um, I don't know. They're somewhere. They're not at the belt. For sure. Not there. Any Rex? Oh, there is a ton of allied stuff, man. And I'm so jealous I cannot, I cannot salvage those. Look at this. Look at this. This is a whole graveyard. Where is that? No, where is that, man? Where is that graveyard? I want a piece of that action. Even if, even if I cannot salvage it, at least to have a look. But I think... It's not gonna be my lucky day. Okay, um... Don't know. Okay, uh... Show me everything, man. Why? What's going on? Am I, is my computer blocked or what? Alright, people. 
I finally did manage to sort this mystery with the tons of ship in space, probably some safe spot or something like that. However, I realized that my route was leading to a system called Head GP. And based on what I know about Head GP, it's in the catch region. Um, pretty much instant death awaits you. So I think now the time has come for us to go home. No loot, no big money, no glory. Just a lot of uh, no sack jumping. And uh, hopefully the kind people on the other side of this gate are not going to ignore us. And will allow us to... Okay. Nobody here. What is this? Smoke warp disruptor. Rifter. Rifter just came in. Um, Rifter came into the warp disruptor, so I'm not so concerned about a Rifter. Maybe I can just warp to 30 kilometers. I don't want to be killed by a Rifter. It's not dignified. I want a battleship or something. Something big. Or smart bomb, not a rifter, come on. You guys, this is Nilsec, man, you can do better. Bring out the capitals or something. I see you, baby, I see you too, man, don't worry. I see you. I didn't see which of the th these two dudes that was, but that doesn't really matter. Okay. So, had GP is not as nearly, as nearly, not nearly as difficult as they presented to be. Uh, can we? We are now in Catch, and Catch is supposed to be famous for its uh, evilness. So I don't know. I don't know. Should I just proceed, jumping another couple of jumps, looking for my eventual demise, uh, or what? I hear so many. This is. I played the game for the last three and a half years, and maybe I have the wrong system. It's possible too, but. I think I've heard so many, like tens, maybe even hundreds of stories, read so many blog posts about this system. Never been here before. This is my very first time. This is supposed to be some historical, super important. And again, I hope I'm not I'm not uh, confusing this with another one, so that veterans are going to like flame me to oblivion. Uh, but yeah, of course, of course, if I'm wrong, just let me know. But if I'm right. I'm puzzled, to be quite honest. I'm puzzled. Look at this, I'm alone here. Nice sun, though. I like the sun. I'm running out of recording time, though, guys. I think um, the whole idea of somebody blowing me up was an amazing, amazing idea I had, but there's not many people outside of NPCs, and I, I don't want to get blown by NPCs. It's not as exciting. So outside of NPCs, nobody really around here, ready to do the job. So what I may do eventually, see if Lisa is nearby, she's in her Reaper. If that, well, that doesn't have to be her. What I'm going to do, I'm going to warp to the next system. And there are two things that can happen. Either somebody will be kindly waiting on the other side to relieve me from this um, endless trip <laughs> or alternatively I will self-destruct myself I'm on the other side and there's 25 people in the system including a person whose name is Chun Tzu now if a person whose name is Chun Tzu is not ready to pod me I don't know who will be ready to pod me oh there we go my friends hello people let me meet you with open arms I don't even know who these people are. Chun Tzu, oh, actually Chun Tzu himself. And they have just the right type of ships. Come on, guys. Come to me. Oh, don't warp away. So, what is going on? How about you, man? How about you and your tornado? Wanna, wanna take a shot? <laughs> what the heck is going on, guys? Man, somebody... Somebody wake up and kill me, man. Let's go to the next gate. 
This is becoming annoying. I thought that 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 I, I, I'm up for an easy job here. <laughs> I'm I could have cut this out, guys, but I think it's just ridiculous how how difficult it is to get potted. Maybe I just maybe I'm just lucky. People just don't notice what's going on, or they just, they just don't pay attention to me. They have bigger fishes to fry, not poor old little me, sir. Click trying to get destroyed in no sec. Okay. Tornado. Okay, this sounds promising. I hope all those ge all those geese, all those people are okay. Right, and I think the moment of truth has just arrived, my friends. I am in the warp bubble, which means I cannot warp. Have I? Uh, yes, I'm in the warp bubble. I just entered the warp bubble. Oh no, I did not. What's going on? Why am I not in the warp? Oh, okay, we go. Yes, finally. Who's Niki Nari. Thank you, my friend. Shout out to you, guy. I'll see you next time. I'm going home. Ooh, that was that was unnecessary. <laughs> unnecessary violence. What's up? Why am I so? Why cannot I see anything? Okay, back to normal. Let's remove this. So we've been 22 jumps, 20 actually one, into zero security space. Remove waypoint, guys. What? Let me just board some sort of ship. It looks like I don't have any ship. I don't have anything. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a bit not planned. It was a bit of um, improvisation uh, in many of the cases. But on the other hand, this is Eve, and Eve is unpredictable. It is a living, breathing world, and the most fun comes from interacting with other people. Uh, even if it is just for them to pod you. I already forgot the names. Who potted me? Let me, let me just have a quick look. Oh, actually a lot of people. Nikki Nari, yes, Nikki Nari. See? At least I got potted by a beautiful chick. Probably this is just a dude, but never mind. We are digressing, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you will enjoy next episode as well. If you have enjoyed this one, my phone is not leaving me alone. Please press the like button or consider subscribing. Helps me a lot. Thank you once more and I'll see you.